What's up, everyone? It's your boy Terry speaking from the Garage Shop again. Here to offer you some more Big Bang for the Buck product information. Yeah. You know, since I've been doing this Trailblazer SS project and working with Aeromotive, I get asked a lot of questions about the truck and about the fueling system. Since Aeromotive came out with these two new products, the Baffle Check Valve and the Apex Siphon, if you have a Phantom or either a Stealth system, fueling system, it takes your system up to another level. And we're going to be doing a video on that soon. See, I'm waiting for mine. <laughs> I yanked the tank out. And now would be a perfect time to go over certain things with the fueling system. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go soup to nuts how a fueling system works on just about any car. So let's get a move and uh, let's have a chat. Now this is my fuel tank out of the Trailblazer SS. This is what's known as a saddlebag fuel tank. All right. So it's very long, and as you can see, the fuel pump mechanism is pretty much towards the back. So this is the front and this is the back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this whole mechanism, which the fuel pump is in, and uh, I'm gonna show you some of the parts that are in here. <laughs> this is where it all begins. When you go to the gas station and you put fuel in your car, this is where all the fuel is gathered up until you're ready to use it. And it is sucked out of the tank by means of the fuel pump. So let's go talk about the pump. So this is basically what most fuel injector system pumps look like that's in the tank. You got your, your float, which tells your gauge if you need gas or if you're empty or if you're full. You got your pump and you got your return. So now if you look on here, you see how you have your vent. The vent allows the tank to breathe. Then you have your feed, your outlet. That's basically hooked into the pump. If you notice, there's a filter here, but remember this, okay? We're gonna get back to it in, in a couple seconds. Yeah, so this basically filters what's ever in the tank. You know, that's why you try to keep a clean tank. And it pushes out, and this outlet goes to your engine. And we're gonna do step by step. And this is the return. Unused fuel returns back to the tank, whether it returns back inside the bucket or if you have a fuel regulator. So there's two options there. So let's run over the route and the fuel coming from the pump. Now this is in the tank. You start your car up, right? So fuel is gonna go from here, the bottom of the tank, up through here, through the outlet. On my application, when I removed the bucket, the stock bucket, that was the only filter that this Trailblazer SS had. In most applications, you have what's known as an inline filter. So from the outlet, the fuel will go through the inline filter, which is usually mounted on the rail somewhere or somewhere close to the fuel tank. Now this here, my external filter. Even though I have it in such a place where it's easy accessible, where if I have to, you know, like service it, you know, clean it out, it's sitting right there, just lift the truck up a little bit and I'm good to go. Now, even though I have a filter on the end of the pump, this is cheap insurance because you just don't want junk going into the rails and into your injectors. So from the filter, it'll go to a regulator. Now, a regulator could either be external like this one, or it could be internal, which is inside the pump bucket. Now, a regulator has two jobs. One, it, could, it allows you to set the PSI for that's the amount of pressure that you want going to your rails. And it also returns the unused fuel back to the tank. That's the job of this little regulator right there. And you can set it, little knob right there, set it to whatever you want. Okay, now once the regulator says, okay, you guys are good to go to the engine, what will happen is now the fuel will be routed to the rails. Whether you have a four, six, or eight cylinder engine, the job of the rails is to disperse the fuel evenly through the injectors. Then it goes from the rails to the injector. The injector sits in the rail, and this part sits in the engine, and once gas hits it, it's atomized right into the cylinder. You know carburetor cars on a cold day, you have to start it up and let it sit for a couple of minutes? That's because the carburetor, fuel will go to the carburetor and then it would go into the manifold. Now, if you have a cold manifold, that gas is gonna now drip into the engine and what's gonna happen is that's when you get that, hus that, that hesitation, that buck up. No, you gotta wait for the manifold to get hot and once the manifold gets hot, now it's gonna atomize the fuel and then it's gonna go into your engine and then you could just drive just as nice as if you had fuel injection. So that's why with fuel injection, you could just start the car up and you could take off. But I like to let the car sit, you know, for at least two or three minutes before I drive off, you know. That's just me, I, 
you know, I'm that guy. But and I know what you guys are saying. You guys are saying, hey Terry, what about the the return? What you you stop with the return on the regulator? See, I knew I, 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 you were gonna say that. So basically, what the return does from off of that regulator is returned by way of that right here, the top of the bucket. It's called the return, and return will return the fuel back to the tank by way. See, drops it off right in there, and so it's ready to be used again. And that's pretty much it for your basic fuel system on just about any car. I hope this helps you guys out. I hope this answers some of your questions. And if it hasn't, you know, you you know, you just leave a comment in the comment section on my YouTube channel, you know, or just drop me a message. I'm not a hard brother to find. But I am looking at the clock on the wall. Or should I say ceiling? It's time for me to head back off. And I think the mailman's here. They got my parts. Ah, I see an air motor box. All right, so listen. As always, be easy, and I'll catch you guys real soon. Take care. Yeah, I'm opening the door. <laughs>